Welcome to the channel. This reading will be for the Pisces energies that might find it. Let's see who's thinking about you, Pisces. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And right now I want to try to tune in to the energy that's thinking about Pisces. Let's see what's going on. If you don't resonate with this reading, check out one of my playlists. I have a bunch of them. Messages are timeless. You find them when you're meant to. But let's see if we can tune into the energy that's thinking about you. Show me who's thinking about Pisces. Okay. Possible Earth energy. So, this is someone, they could be an Earth energy, they own, or, or a Gemini energy. This is, um, someone that, it's like they've been watching, either watching you on social media, admiring you from the distance, <laughs> Juggling their feelings. Mm. So, this is someone that may have lost their home or is deal was dealing with like money issues. Trying to like reestablish themselves financially. Um, they may have had a, an actual like someone, this is something you would already know if it happens, it's not for everyone, but, like, some of them could have dealt with a passing, like, in their family or something, that affected your connection to some degree, whether it's because they had to deal with certain things um, financially or emotionally. But, yeah, this is someone, if, they, if they're not an earth sign, it's someone that wants to come off like, like they're stable. Mm, but I feel like they could be impulsive uh, about expressing how they're feeling towards you and the connection. I feel like you've already been through something with this person and they've been very slow to return. So, for some of you, this person went through something that affected the connection, some sort of ending, however that this death card resonates, uh, if you are resonating something unexpected, something that messed up the timing of things, right? See this clock. Something, the timing was wrong. Or so, I don't know if this person actually said that to you or if it's like legitimately something happened beyond the control of this person that they weren't expecting where it affected it affected the whole connection um, and like the beginning, the new beginning that you should have had. All right, what does Pisces need to know about this energy if they are resonating?
So this person seems to be holding back what they want to be saying, and it seems they are holding on to memories that they have of you. Seems like they're thinking a lot about you. They could feel like they owe you something. So, for some of you, this energy feels like, uh, like they've wronged you and that they, they chose to do whatever action it was that put you in a place where you felt betrayed by them. Okay, for everyone that's gonna be different, whatever that actual action or, you know, thing between between you guys was. was. Um, so, again, it's temperance. I don't think this person, is this person going to reach out? Because it seems here like they're going to hold back. And I feel like it's almost like they're waiting for you to reach out to them. So, is, is Pisces going to hear from this energy? So, I feel like this this person if you're resonating with this did something that you would feel betrayed by and you would know what that that thing was um i feel like you're waiting for some sort of apology or you know words like actions or words having to do with like expressing what the Six of Cups means for this person because the Six of Cups for me sometimes it talks about that we've known this energy like from the old neighborhood we, we've we spent time with them we built met, we already built things with this person sometimes it talks about like you met this energy and you felt like you knew each other forever it was so comfortable um, sometimes it talks about like a soulmate connection, but it's mostly about memories. So it's almost like Pisces is waiting for this energy to take action, use words, come forward, express the depth of what this represents or means for them. But like they're holding back. I mean, they're almost like smug about it. I just felt first not for everyone, but for some of you, this person is almost smug about it, but, like, they have all these feelings and emotions. So, it's almost like they're waiting for you to let go of something and be the, the person that, like, plants the seed, that, that offers the words of love and and represents like, yeah, I want to be invested in this, or I have still, like, I'm still holding on. Where I feel like you, Pisces, are waiting for them to do that. So it's almost like a standoff. Um, now, everyone's, everyone's journey to this place, if you are resonating with this reading, is different. So for some of you, I don't know, <laughs> this could be a soulmate. But I don't know, if, for me, like, just because someone is a soulmate doesn't mean you're meant to be with them in this life in that way. For me, soulmates, they could be friends, lovers, parents, siblings, all of those relationships, you know, they're the relationships we have along our path. Um, if this is like a twin flame or like karmic situation, if you guys watch my readings, you know, I don't want really to talk about twin flames and all of that stuff. But it could be that you're at like a, you know, standstill. So I'll just, we'll end the reading by asking the cards, what does Pisces need to know if Pisces is resonating with this about how they should handle the situation?
So some of you some of you need to weigh out your heart, like what your heart wants and what your soul needs. And if this person can actually fulfill that or you know bring that into the relationship. Because you're here, Queen of Cups. The Nine of Cups is here, the happiness. Um, you may have just come to a place in your life where you found some sort of, and I just heard this inner peace. Some of you are at that place. Some of you, this is your, um, the reason you found this is because this is like reminding you or telling you or trying to guide you on a path of inner peace, inner love, self-love. Only when you find that and you get that balance are you going to be able to not only give the love that you that you need to give to another another soul, but also be able to accept the love that you deserve. Um, and some of you might be trying to figure out like what you want from love, from life, from a, from a partner. Um, what I'm getting from the Hierophant being here, like, so the page is, the page of cups is here next to the Hierophant. You're, you, that's Pisces energy, the page of cups. Some of you need to take, um, love more seriously. You need to look at it more like from more traditional eyes. If you've been if you've been like in love with love alright you need to like balance that out. You need to take or this is saying to me that from this person specifically that we're, we're peeking in on that you need to if you try to work it out with them specifically the Hierophant represents a more traditional connection so like marriage or just a more traditional connection if this energy just presented like love or the love in this connection or treated you like a commodity like you were a replaceable commodity or something um or you were like very dreamy whimsical in how and how you accepted this person in your life and how you looked at love like you felt this soulmate connection with this person and you want to give them all like of your love and they make make you feel fulfilled and all of this you need to expect more from them is what this is saying to me something more serious if if they weren't offering that before and if they were offering that before okay and now they're coming back and you're resonating in that way the knight of wands is here so the knight of wands is like Okay, the cups is working there, working there. The, the, the Knight of Wands can be very impulsive and fiery. So just, just be serious. Think, th think things through. Be serious about it. Um, that's what I'm seeing there if you're resonating. All right, Pisces? If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Um... If you want a personal reading, send me an email. If you want to buy me a coffee, that info is in my description. I love you guys. Good luck.